So in this problem, we're told to find the area uh, of the region between these two curves. And so we're told y equals 1 over x, y equals 1 over x squared, and x equals 2. So they tell us x equals 2, so they give us one of our bounds. But what we've got to do is, since we're finding the area between two curves, we have to find the other bound. And so you can see that I graphed it here. And if you look here, 2 is going to be one of our bounds. We're finding the area between the curves. It's pretty obvious that the other bound is going to be at 1, 1. But you're not always going to have a graphing calculator in order to figure that out. So I'll show you how to find the other bound if you're not given it. So basically what you want to do is just take your two functions and set them equal to each other. And then whatever value of x you get is going to be a point of intersection. So since we both we have a 1 on top and a 1 on top here, that means the bottoms are equal to each other. So x equals x squared. And so if we square root both sides, the square root of x is going to be equal to x. And so the only value that this works for is 1, right? Because the square root of 1 equals 1. And so it's going to be x equals 2 and x equals 1. Those are going to be our two bounds. So if we look at it graphically here, it's going to be this area where I'm shading in right now. So that's what we're trying to find. And so what we want to do is take the integral. So from our lower bound to our upper bound, so from 1 to 2. And then what you're going to want to do is take the function that's above the other one over your interval. So in this case, the red line is correct. And so the red line represents 1 over x. So we're going to take 1 over x and then subtract from that uh, the function that's below it over that interval. So in this case, it's 1 over x squared. So you have 1 over x minus 1 over x squared. So the top function minus the bottom one. And so now all we've got to do is just solve this integral. And that's going to be the area between these two curves. So we know the uh, antiderivative of 1 over x is just uh, the, the natural log of the absolute value of x, it's something you should memorize. And then so then we have minus 1 over x squared, which is the same thing as just minus x to the minus 2. And then we just got to use the power rule. So it's going to become x to the minus 1. Then we divide by minus 1. Uh, but we have this minus sign here, right? So our minus sign will cancel. So it's just x to the minus 1. So plus x to the minus 1. Then we're evaluating it from our upper and lower bound. So 2 and 1. So all we got to do is just plug them in. So we're going to plug in 2, get a value, and then subtract whatever 1 plugged in is. So if we plug in 2, we'll have the ln of the absolute value of 2 plus 2 to the minus 1. So the natural log of 2 is just ln of 2, right? So natural log of 2, and then 2 to the minus 1 is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the 1, which is just 1 over 2, which is 1 half. So ln of 2 plus 1 half, and then we minus whatever 1 plugged in is. So the ln of the absolute value of 1 plus 1 to the minus 1. So the natural log of 1 is just 0. That's something you should know. It's a rule. So 0 plus, and then 1 to the minus 1 is just 1 over 1 to the 1, which is just 1. So it's just going to be 1. So we're just minusing 1. So we have the ln of 2 plus 1 half minus 1. So it'll become ln of 2. And then 1 half minus 1 is going to be minus 1 half. So this right here is going to be the area between these two curves from uh, 1 to 2.